It's Friday, I'm Nick, and this is your Friday New Product Post. Now, we have a very big product that we're very excited about this week, and that is, of course, the SparkFun Discrete Semiconductor Kit. We already carry a few small parts kits, like our resistor kit or our capacitor kit that came out recently. And these are just boxes of parts to help you stock up on certain components so you don't have to run out and buy something every time that you run into something you need on your project. This time around, we have the discrete semiconductor kit. Things like transistors, both in-channel and p-channel, MOSFETs, voltage regulators, uh, all sorts of things that you'll run into during a project all in one place. What? This wasn't the big one? Oh, this. This is the Shapeoko 3 SparkFun Edition CNC router. This product is a collaboration between SparkFun and Carbide 3D to bring you our version of the Shapeoko platform. The Shapeoko is an affordable tabletop CNC router, which means that you can set it up and then route any design you want into a variety of materials, most woods, MDF, even thin aluminum. What makes this one SparkFun Edition, besides the fancy red paint, is the Stepoko board. And the Stepoko board is also a collaboration. And it's something that we designed to do all of the heavy lifting, running all of the stepper motors, managing things like the end stops and the e-stop switch, and talking to the computer so that you can run your CNC software and cut out your shapes. The Stepoko is an awesome three-axis stepper motor driver, and it can be bought separately. In fact, this whole kit can be bought in three different configurations. You can buy just the mechanical kit, which comes from our friends at Carbide 3D, and includes all of the mechanical pieces that you see here, except for things like the router, the stepper motors, and of course, the Stepoko board and enclosure. If you want the motors and the enclosure and the Stepoko board, you can buy that as an add-on kit if you already have one of these platforms, or you can buy the deluxe kit, which includes not only the mechanical platform, but our add-on kit, and is basically everything that you need to get this up and running, except for your router, which can be purchased at most DIY shops. Over the past year, we here at SparkFun have gotten really interested in CNC, and we've learned way too much to go over in this video. But we have filmed another very comprehensive step-by-step -step assembly guide for this platform. Not only does it take you through step-by-step -step how to put this together from the kit when it arrives at your door, but it also gets you all the way through to hooking it up to your computer, installing the software, and machining your first widget. Now, that video will be available here in a few days, but in the meantime, here's Marshall to tell you more about the Stepoko board. The Stepoko is a controller board for running 3D mills. Now, we've actually planned this to be paired with the Shapeoko 3D mill, however, it's applicable to all sorts of motors. To demonstrate that, and because I've always wanted to drive these little motors, I've made myself a laser cutter that uses two CD-ROM chassis. One of them drives the x-axis one direction, and the other one drives the laser on the other axis. This uses a femtobuck driver for the laser control. I even added a little fan to take advantage of the 12 volt fan connection on the Stepoko. This is a two watt blue laser that you can pick up for about $60 online. I've zeroed out the laser cutter already, so all I have to do is add my material and hit go on the program. I'll center it about zero. All right, here goes. To get the laser cutter to work, there's a safety on-off switch as well as a laser drive switch. You have to hold the laser drive switch while it's going so that you can't leave it on and walk away. Remember kids, don't look directly into the laser. All right, it's done. Although it looks like I didn't turn the laser on soon enough. <laughs> 